Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you how you can control the line chart with two different dates. So on the line chart we have the date information populated and uh, this is the first date if I change this you will see that this is changed over here. If I change this you will see that the information is changed over here. So basically date is getting populated based on what I have on the first slicer and two slicers. So if you are looking for a scenario like this, then this video is for you. All right. So how we can configure that I will show you. But if you want to grab this data, which I am using. So what you can do is link is given in the description from that link. You will come over here in the data set folder where I have the data set sheet in this sheet uh, in the row number 19. You have the sample superstore data set. So that is first information. The second information is the um, is about all my 300 plus Power BI videos. So if you want to grab these Power BI videos so that you can easily search any of my video and jump on to that using the link, then for this also the details is given in the description. Along with this, uh, let me come back to my uh, workbook. This workbook, as you can see, I'm creating many scenarios related to the line chart. So if you want to grab this again, look at the description. Okay, so uh, so this is what what's going on in this and I will show you how we can do that. So for this, what I'll do is I will just uh, remove this first to my second screen, right? And uh, then what I'll do is I will bring in the, the one which I want to create. So I will create a new page. And in this page, what we have, as you can see, is a blank screen. So over here in the data, we have the order sheet. This is the data set which I was referring to at the start. It has the information of uh, sample superstore, a superstore which is selling the products to different customers at different location, right? So if I show you over here, this is the, if I click on that, orders data set, a lot of columns just so that we can produce our scenarios quickly. So to do this piece, what we need is basically two different dates. So two different dates is basically based on I work. What I'll do is I'll create two tables for that. So I just clicked on the new table and let's call it date one. And we will simply say values. And uh, in that we will going to provide the order date. And that is it. What it will do is it will create the column for all the dates that is there. So as you can see, the dates are here, right? Similarly, if I can go here, um, we have the option of copying the table, but not an issue. I can create a new table. I was thinking we can get an option for duplicate table. So date two, nothing but same um, order date, right? Because we need two dates two independent dates table so that we can control this. So that is why I'm creating these two tables date one and date two with that I can control what is there in the order date. So let me come back here and uh, then what I need to do is I need to create a chart. So my chart will be based on measure and the dimension and dimension is something I want to control. Sorry, the measure is something which I want to control. Measure should be based on what I'm selecting as part of the date. Okay. So first thing first, I will going to create a line chart based on the order date and I actually need the order date, right? Because what I'm selecting is the dates in the front. So I can bring this down over here, increase the size, right? And now I need a formula which will be based on my two slices. So over here, if you see um, sales based on date selection, just a very detailed title, right? And I will say calculate. In the calculate, I will uh, first of all give the max expression called max orders, uh, max basically order sales. So I will say sales. Right. This is basically just so that we have the maximum point over here uh, for getting the sales as to where it is ending. And then what do we have is basically we need to specify filter. This is the important condition in this we want table we want to filter is basically the orders table and we want the order date, right? 
we want the order date to be in because it will going to be based on two different dates right so it will be uh, first date will be in the range of what all selected the uh, order date that is first right uh, and then our second is basically we are creating an or condition and our or condition will be second one will be based on the selected value based on the what we have is order date right and that will be in the selected value of order date in the um, our second order date so all selected right date 2 order date here yeah. and I will close that close the calculate the filter close the, this one so we have max order uh, max order sales based on the filter condition where order date in the yeah I just need to change this I think I made a mistake I need to specify the first order date date one right so order date in date one order date in date two right so this way I can basically get the output what I need so if I enter this now what I can do is I can bring this on to the y axis okay it is uh, could not load the data uh, let me okay so what I did is I did it wrong it should not be here I'll just copy this and delete this one sorry this one it should be part of the order table delete from model yes order date let me click on order date come on order date and I need a new measure uh, home. new measure and in this new measure I will just simply paste it what I copied from the first one and I'll click OK all right if I don't select any table it will by default pick the first table that is a problem so sales based on this measure let me put it this now on the y-axis okay it is giving me the error let me just very quickly again so I have the calculate maximum order of sales and I need a filter condition on the orders yeah order date in the um, all selected um, not the line chart one this is the date one yeah now I know what is but this one is also important what date one order date and date two order date okay uh, now my chart is displayed so what we need is now in the slicer I need a slicer over here uh, and I need the date one make sure this is date one don't do the mistake like I was doing it and which was giving me error when I was using the formula okay this is my date one I need another slicer uh, that is based on the date two and now I have the date two okay I reduce this I reduce this as well and if you see right now for some strange reason it is not giving me the expected output okay it is picking up the the last one it is picking up from there my hope was that it will going to pick up yeah if you see this is where you know the situation is that it should work it just that we have because my data set size is huge that's why I have to just work it out right it should not be an overlapping dates so this way you can work it out your dates and uh, then so this is the maximum for date one this is the uh, this is over here is basically the first one over here to basically bring us the date and the re related value so I hope uh, if this was a solution you were looking for that your x-axis is based on the two different dates and you want to just show the dates that is basically relate uh, you know uh, required to be shown on the axis and this video is for you 
all right so i hope you enjoyed the solution with that thank you so much and i'll meet you in the new video with the new topic